In this video, we will try to solve a question that was asked by a brother in the comment sections. So the question is like this. Uh, the revenue and total cost function for a market product are we are given the total revenue function and total cost function. Revenue function is given like this 125Q minus Q square where Q is the output. Okay. And our total cost is given as 500 plus 5Q. Uh, plus 0.5 q square we have to find the profit maximizing level of output and price okay so uh, in the earlier video i have also told you that the profit maximization condition is profit maximization con condition is simply our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost this is the profit maximization condition that is we have to equate the marginal revenue and marginal cost function First, we are given the total revenue. That is, total revenue is equal to 125Q minus Q square. This is our total revenue function. Okay. From this total revenue function, we have to find a marginal revenue. Okay. So, so many times I have told you that uh, marginal revenue is simply the first derivative of this total revenue function with respect to output. That is, marginal uh, revenue is simply the first derivative of total revenue or differentiating total revenue function with respect to quantity which is here, here q okay so the derivative of q is 1 okay so 125 into q is equal to 1 sorry 125 into 1 is equal to 125 okay minus the derivative of q square if we have q square its derivative is simply 2q this 2 becomes coefficient and the power is subtracted by 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so here we have this 2q this is our marginal revenue similarly we are uh, being given the total cost function that is so i will write here total cost is given as 500 uh, plus 5q plus uh, point for you q square and total cost is uh, like the total uh, marginal revenue is the first derivative of total uh, revenue similarly marginal cost is the first derivative of total cost function with respect to quantity that is differentiating total cost function with respect to quantity so derivative of constant is always zero the derivative of q is one so five into one is five plus the derivative of q square is 2q okay so we have 2 into 0 0.5 2 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 0 0.5 can be written as so we get here only q so 0 0.5 q square the derivative of q square was 2q and 2 into 0.5 is equal to 1 okay this is our marginal cost this is our marginal revenue now coming to the solution part that is we have to find the level of output and price first we will find the level of output now profit maximization condition is rather the first order condition we have two uh, conditions for profit maximization okay so first order condition is that our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost so marginal uh, revenue is this 125 so i will write this is 125 uh, minus 2q should be equal to marginal cost which we have calculated that is 5 plus q and we can transpose this 5 on lhs this will become 125 negative 5 similarly transposing negative 2q on rhs so this will become positive 2q uh, 125 minus 5 is equal to 120 and we have q plus uh, 2q is equal to 3q or our q is equal to 120 divided by 3 which comes out to be 3 ones are 3 fours are 12 and we have 3 zeros are 0 so equilibrium uh, level of output is 40 okay so we got the profit maximizing level of output that is equal to q 
that is equal to 40 sorry now coming to the next uh, uh, part of the question that is we have to find the price okay for that what will we do i will write here we know that total revenue total revenue is equal to price into quantity this is the relationship between when we multiply price and quantity we get the total revenue okay now our total revenue is given so i will write here total revenue is given that is 125 q minus q square this is our total revenue which is equal to price times q okay now what we can do here we can uh, transpose this q on uh, this side since it is multiplied uh, here on the rhs side when we transport it will get divided to each of these two terms okay or we can write 125 q minus q square is equal to p divided by q because since uh, on rhs it is in the multiplication when transposing it will become the denominator okay or we can uh, write it here 125 q divided by q minus q square divided by q okay which is equal to p now q and q will get cancelled we have 125 minus here 1 q will get cancelled we are left with only 1 q here which is equal to p okay that means our inverse demand function would be like this 125 minus q from this uh, uh, inverse demand function we can easily calculate the profit maximizing level of price okay so our p i will write here now okay uh, p is equal to we have 125 minus q the q value of q which we have calculated which is equal to 40 or p is equal to now 5 minus 0 is 5 now 2 12 minus 4 is equal to 85 that means our profit maximizing level of uh, price would be 85 and profit maximizing level of quantity would be 40 i hope i make myself clear this was a tricky little bit because we were only given the revenue and cost functions okay so uh, revenue uh, finding the level of output was easy and then for uh, calculating price it was some bit uh, a tricky one because we were not being uh, given here the inverse demand function for that we have to create the inverse demand function and then substitute the value of q to get the equilibrium level of price okay i hope this video uh, this video helps you thank you